Okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity to speak at New Operation Management Summit here. Uh, we'd like to talk about quantitative method for open source contribution value and it, its impact on Sony's business strategy. Uh, if you have a question, please ask us at Q and the time. Uh, please wait. <laughs> Uh, let, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Kazumi Sato. I am a distinguished engineer, Sony Group Corporation. I have been working on Linux-based system software for various Sony products. I also have been working on OSS uh, compliance and relationship with communities in Sony Group. Since 2002, when Sony started to use Linux, I have been uh, leading system software development using Linux and introducing it to the uh, products complying uh, the open source license. I am a member of the uh, Software Strategy Committee at uh, Sony Group. Hi, uh, I'm Masayuki Kuwata. Uh, I'm OSPO lead at Sony Group, and I worked worked on uh, I work on leading the OS. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I work on leading the open source strategy with the business unit, and since 2023, uh, 2022, April. I've started my career in OSPO, and before that, I'm I was software engineer, and now uh, I'm also an organizer of Japan OSPO local meetup, and uh, I had uh, this meetup yesterday, and I gathered about twenty-five people. The activity is under to the group and the Open Chain Japan Working Group. And let me introduce our co-workers who are in this room, Fukuchi-san and Alin. Could you stand up? Um, we worked with them to anal this analysis and discussed a lot. Thank you very much. And by the end of this presentation, you will feel and understand how quantitative data is effective for open source promotion. Now, let's get things started from background. And background. OSPO is expanding, especially 2023. As you can see the graph at the bottom, collaboration on common challenges and the to the group and the open chain is very good. However, we have had still big challenges. Let me explain about that. Our challenges are to step the company up. It's stage from consumer to participant, participant to contributor. But it is difficult to understand upper side benefit from lower side. So how to convince engineers and management? That's our challenge. And our situation. Undoubtedly, everyone recognizes the value of using open source. As you can see, the left side of the consumer smiling face, um, it's easily understand, it's clear for them, ev for everyone, the benefit of a consumer because just using, but uh, difficult to make consensus, the value of participating and contributing 
to open source as part of company business activities on some business area. It's including our situation, our company. And from consumer participation looks annoying from participant. And they don't think it is better to contribute for their code or something. They don't understand why they should, they, uh, it, it, why it is good to contribute. Despite presenting examples of strategic utilization by other companies, limited acceptance of changing work practices. So our three steps analysis. Let me pass the baton to Kazumi Saki. Thank you, Kubata-san. Uh, uh, I'd like to uh, talk about three-step our analysis. Our three-step analysis is uh, at first we assessed the company's current situation by analyzing our own open source activities. Uh, then we visualized the overall landscape or open source activity by using OSCI uh, analysis. Uh, OSCI is open source software analyzed uh, GitHub uh, by uh, EPAM company. And then uh, we show the relationship between contribution and businesses. Uh, first, uh, assessing the company's current situation. Uh, we listed our own open source development uh, project and the number of contributors in each technical categories. As you can see, we have some open source development activity in uh, several technology categories. But we, if we watch the activities with sales and profit, there is unbalance between business and open source contributions. Right side bar shows the rate of contributors by uh, technical categories. Left side shows the rate of our profit and sales and contributors mapped to business categories. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, very unbalancing. And uh, uh, we explain our executive this situation, and uh, it has been understood by our executives. Next, I'd like to explain about visualization, the overall landscape of technologies. Uh, we want to visualize the status of the open source project technology area related to the business by uh, OSCI. Uh, we presented uh, last year OSSJ about another analysis with open source contributor index, uh, uh, last year's OSSJ. Uh, the three major neutral foundations Linux Foundation, Apache Software Foundation, and Eclipse Foundation have published information on how to categorize their project. Uh, as you know, uh, three major foundations have a lot of important uh, open source software. So uh, we analyze these three major uh, foundations. So uh, we categorize project from three major foundation into technology domain to understand the size of each development. Uh, each uh, foundation and uh, classify categories uh, di di differently. 
So we normalize them uh, by manually. This page shows uh, developers by tech category and foundation. As you can see, Cloud is a top category with uh, 2,700 developers, and almost all developers are contributing to Linux Foundation project. Uh, next is uh, AI and data with 1,400 developers. And Apache Software Foundation has also large amount of contributors. Third is IoT and Embedded with uh, 600 developers. And again, almost all are under Linux Foundation. Uh, this page shows uh, tech category contributors. Uh, you, you can see the uh, same contribution number colored by company. Cloud area is developed by cloud companies, uh, of course. <laughs> In AI and data, the biggest company is Meta due to a PyTorch project. In IoT, we can see a variety type of uh, company, uh, Intel, uh, Google, uh, and semiconductor companies. This page shows developed by, uh, developers by uh, company. Uh, our analysis is company basis, and uh, we can see IT giant at upper side and uh, main category is cloud. But uh, Facebook and Apple, their focus is on uh, AI and data. And semiconductor companies have about uh, 100 contributors and they are working on cloud, AI, and IoT. Uh, Adobe also contribute web and content. Uh, our Sony contribute IoT cloud kernel network and contents. Uh, each company uh, contribute a different kind of technology area. This page showed. Now, uh, uh, it is coming to the almost uh, interesting part. Uh, we showed the relationship between contribution and businesses. At the first, uh, deep dive to uh, development persons. Before uh, sharing the quantitative data, uh, con 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 quantitative data, <laughs> Let me share how we analyzed. We firstly uh, looked at the raw data. As you can see, there are different frequency of by each person. A lot of developers uh, contribute only a few months. Limited developer works uh, constantly. So we focused on uh, constant dedicated developers. Uh, we define uh, dedicated developers at least 10 months and uh, 40 commits a year. This pie chart shows PyTorch dedicated developers. Uh, if you look at the dedicated developer who work for their company, Meta has 36 persons and others are total 38 extra persons, more than twice the development uh, power uh, from Meta. Big tech and semiconductor company 
companies value PyTorch as infrastructure and appoint a dedicated developer. We support the dedicated uh, appointed dedicated appointed developer is working at the company's uh, will. Uh, this chart uh, show IT tech contributors analysis. This table show contribution uh, repository in PyTorch project and its uh, contribution uh, company. Uh, this table show IT tech contribute to enhance their platform. Google, Amazon, Apple, uh, they are working for their SOCs. Um, Microsoft look like work for uh, Windows, I suppose. This page shows analysis of semiconductor companies' contributions. Semiconductor company contributed to enhance their SOC value. We analyzed PyTorch sub-repositories commits by semiconductor companies, and uh, we understood that uh, they are working for accelerating uh, their SOC. Uh, next part, I'd like to pass to Kuwata-san again. Okay. Thank you, Sato-san. And now let's look at progress in our company. Right. Um, before we got this data, our approach had only qualitative information. But no change in business strategy, even though qualitative information could be understood. So, we added quantitative data, as you can see with the blue color in this slide. Conducting executive briefings to enhance understanding of global trends through data and igniting for bottom-up movement by delivering presentations with data. And as you can see with the purple color, uh, tailor data analysis for business unit, technology character, convincing business units to initiate strategic activities through specific examples from other companies. Then um, quantitative information can convince business unit more and business strategy including open source. And let's go into detail. First, let me share how we have conducted executive briefings. First step, we presented to Software Strategy Committee. Second step, we conducted executive briefings to C-class executives. And third step, we presented again with a response from senior executives to Software Strategy Committee, including Business Unit Software Head. From this process, many of them are convinced with the quantitative data. Next approach, Up to upstream of the business plan. Source information for business plan did not capture open source situation, even though all technology includes open source. We approached key person of business strategy planning and provided open source trend information with the quantitatively analyzed data. Now, technology strategy includes open source explicitly. Third approach, convincing business units. Sony Semiconductor Solutions has OSPO. Maybe some of them, uh, some of you already attended uh, morning session, uh, uh, 
previous session. But uh, um, they made business unit understand the importance of open source. But qualitative information could not give an idea how to change the business plan. So we provided information with quantitatively analyzed PyTorch data, especially semiconductor companies activity, as Sato san explained. With this trigger, um, strategic open source activity has been getting started. And now we came to final point. Um, even top-down message is shared. Engineers do not start action soon because they are not convinced without detailed explanation. So we are conducting presentation to engineers by tailoring the information to each technology area for obtaining their understanding about contribution value and OSP activity. Okay, that's everything of our company progress. So let's move on to the key takeaways. One, you know, the quantitative data demonstrate the business impact of open source contribution. And that is useful to gain support from top level executives. Two, analyzing technology areas with open source and providing input early in business plan discussions is valuable for business and its strategy. Three, it is important to tailor information by understanding organization's characteristics to effectively promote open source activities. And f final point, uh, bottom-up activities are also important to convince a lot of engineers. Okay, but still there are remain things. OSPO cannot have all technology area knowledge because open source is covering all technology areas. So each technology specialist needs to join this activity, I believe. So, so uh, but our approach can improve this situation. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it's time for question. Any question? Thank you for presentation. I have uh, one question about uh, three idea. Uh, uh, please show the uh, third idea. No, hmm? uh, the bottom up about. Ah, bottom up. Bottom. Okay, yes, I, see. I, I think uh, it is important. Um, and in Japan, a lot of uh, companies uh, like a DX and uh, make uh, employees to bottom up idea or bottom up uh, actions. But it is difficult to uh, conducting a uh, um, bottom up action because uh, in all the days, uh, in, <laughs> sorry, mukashi uh, a lot of people are uh, conducting a business uh, top down, but uh, now, um, now, now culture is bottom up. It's a different culture. So uh, if I do uh, this idea, I, I, this idea is in, uh, important, but it is difficult to the, conduct this idea. So how to uh, conduct this idea in engineer or other employees? Can you understand? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, 
Yes, uh, I understand your question. It, yes, as you mentioned, it's difficult to uh, get understanding and uh, start action from bottom up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> but okay, maybe next slide will be better. As uh, I described here, mm -hmm. um, we just started this activity and uh, currently still we are trying. And, but uh, fortunately in our company, uh, we have several channels to access to uh, younger generation. And one is already Kazumi Sandem, but uh, in our R D area, we we have a chance to make a presentation all of um, R and D division, and a lot of younger generation have joined that presentation meeting. And uh, I, I usually uh, do, uh, uh, I s we say mm -hmm. a bottom-up approach is, is uh, important, but uh, someone say, please, top down. <laughs> <laughs> so so? Uh, we conduct some middle manager mm -hmm. to uh, do bottom-up activity. <laughs> oh, so your access to the top, um, not top, uh, middle, uh, uh, middle manager, range, yeah. uh, middle, middle range, range manager, young, man young, young manager, or, or young such kind of uh, stuff engineer, right? engineer, I say, uh, we should involve bottom-up activity. So manager do uh, such kind of uh, bottom-up experience, uh, experience, then uh, bottom-up people join this activity. Yeah. yeah, younger people say uh, we'd like to join some enhancement activity. Everyone say, mm -hmm. but uh, they themselves uh, do themselves. So uh, we uh, first uh, say to middle manager to do bottom-up activity. So a uh, middle manager say, uh, you, can, you can do bottom-up activity, then a uh, younger p person do bottom-up activity. <laughs> OK, I got it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Any question? Uh, thank you very much for the, your uh, talk, and uh, I, I understand most of them. And uh, I would like to know that what is the goal of your activity? So the, to reduce your cost or to shorten your development terms or uh, to, I think that uh, you are saying that uh, to uh, grow, to teach the younger people to join the open source. But uh, I don't understand why you are trying to do so. Uh, so thank you for the question. Mm. <laughs> as, in, as, as you know, uh, open source is a fundamental technology. So uh, our all technology depends on open source. So open source activity is uh, very essential I think so. Uh, 
uh, Sony say we are technology company and uh, entertainment technology company. So uh, we should uh, do uh, enhance technology, but all technology depend on open source. So we should uh, encourage open source, I think. So uh, I do this activity. I would like to add that this slide is pretty good because um, if you're depending on open source, a lot of open source projects are um, trying hard to keep their quality, they're understaffed, they're exhausted. And what industry learned is that they should contribute and they do this a lot. So these projects get a lot of patches, a lot of patch reports. So the next step is to participate more like review, take action. And this is what I get from this. So this is very welcome. So one of the goals is not only to reduce cost, but just to sustain open source in this high quality the industry depends on. Yes. This is, this is a movement a lot more companies should do to take action to, um, so that we still in the future will have this powerful, strong open source that we have today. Otherwise it will collapse. That's what I think. Thank you, thank you for comment. <laughs> Uh, Thank you for a good presentation and, and very interesting data that I wish were more easily available for, for everyone. Um, my question is, do you find a difference in when, when you try to roll this out in terms of a bottom-up or top-down approach, what works, uh, because Sony is a global company, what works in Japan, does it's, it's does that directly translate into what works in Europe or, or the US or have you mostly worked with this in Japan so far? Yeah, <laughs> thank you for the question. Uh, that's it, uh, our problems. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Our company uh, is, uh, um, our founder is Japanese, so uh, almost uh, main activity in Japan. But our subsidiary is uh, overseas everywhere. So uh, it is important to uh, convince uh, every uh, our company's engineer, but uh, European or American uh, Korean uh, understand almost uh, open source uh, value. So, but uh, we, we should uh, more tight relationship with uh, overseas uh, colleagues in, and in this kind of uh, activities. And uh, our company is conglomerate company, so uh, not only electronic semiconductor, but also uh, entertainment picture and uh, live assurance and music. So uh, we should do tailoring uh, each situation uh, maybe I should do any question okay oh, thank you oh <laughs> for your sharing. Um, I'm curious about how many years or how long have you spent to convince all your uh, board community and uh, uh, to organize all the bottom-up activities that to engage all the developers you have? 
Thank you. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> But、uh, this presentation activity is、uh, this year activity. Yeah. Last year also.、Mm. So、uh, we just started our activity. <laughs> If I could make a comment, I'm, I'm with Sony as well. And、um, so we've been doing the qualitative approach for many years,、yeah. probably over 20 years. And、uh, it's, this is a much better approach. <laughs>、uh, the quantitative, it's really hard to convince upper management with kind of philosophical arguments. Although the philosophical arguments are correct, they're true. Right, that if you invest, for instance, in contributions,、uh, that you'll get better software back. And there's a whole bunch of arguments, and I've made them all myself in the past. But when you approach upper management with numbers, and especially if you show them the competitive landscape, where it's like these companies are investing in this project, and you can say, and they're doing it for this reason and this return on investment, that's a much better story. Uh, and that's much more convincing. And so, this is a relatively new activity, this quantitative、uh, measurement stuff, but、uh, we're finding it's effective. <laughs> I can come with another comment,、uh, also from Sony,、uh, Europe this time. So,、uh, before this activity, we started educating the middle management with the power of open, what open means. And most managers don't get the idea just from the idea perspective. Open collaboration, open data, open, open source, open hardware, open code are concepts that they cannot grasp. But if you show them what other companies are doing in the same area, then it is a competition. And that they can understand. They can, they can understand numbers. So, it's easier to go and then preach the concept of open to developers once you convince the management. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, only three minutes.、Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>